Alice the Car Doctor back with another informative video today. Today's patient I have with me is a 2013 Dodge Ram. Now this is, has the 5.7 Hemi in it. And today I'm gonna be talking about the infamous Hemi Tick. Um, now with this particular motor, it is found in the cars also, the Chargers, the 300s, um, the Challengers, anything with the 5.7, it, this is gonna relate to that vehicle. So yeah, that answers that question. Now I am gonna play, I already got it broke down. I had to break this one down pretty quick, uh, but I did take a quick little clip of this engine running. So I'm gonna let you listen to that right now. I hope you guys heard that. That was a small amount of tick. Um, still pretty bad and any tick or any crazy noise is bad. Uh, but I'm gonna show you what's going on. I had to break this particular engine down because it's a car shield claim and they wanna break it down and take oil samples and it's just a big thing dealing with any warranty company. They wanna cross their T's and dot their I's. There you go. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I was able to break it down and find the issue. And it's pretty much the same story on any of these five, seven Hemis. So you have lifters. Um, I've talked about these dealing with the GM, but this is, this is the Chrysler version. So this is the bad lifter. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all scored up. Let me see, can I wipe it off? Oh yeah, you see that good now. So I'm gonna see, can I wiggle it for you guys? And it got some up and down play versus this one. It's nice and smooth. That's how they supposed to look no movement no up and down so this one little lifter caused that noise now since it's got scoring on the ball port part portion and the lifter itself didn't fail because you can have lifter failure the hydraulic portion will fail and cause play but since it happened on this the roller lifter part it also scored up the cam shaft so now i'm gonna have to go in and replace the camshaft and um we're gonna replace all the lifters dealing with warranty companies at first when i told them that i want to replace all the lifters they didn't want to do it do do it that way they just wanted to replace one bad part so that's the downside about warranty companies um, when i go in i like to replace everything but what made them replace everything i had to explain to them the cam is damaged. You don't want to go back in, um, put old parts on a new camshaft. And if you're wondering what a camshaft looks like, got one right here for you guys. Nice and new. Check that out. Has these different lobes. The lifters ride on them. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, ride on them like such. Looks just like this. So that one bad area scored that up real bad. Let me I'm gonna show you that. Where were we? <laughs> I was picking up the lifter off the ground and okay. you were showing them a new cam. Well, I wanted to show you. I also put a picture up on the screen, guys, of the damaged cam. Um, he's getting ready to take that out, mm -hmm. but, and we'll show you that too. Yeah, but. once you remove these lifters, you can look down in the cylinders, the lifter cylinders, I like to call them, and you can inspect the cam. Or any scoring or damage once i get it out you'll be able to see it a lot better but basically on these hemis you have to remove the cylinder heads um it's, the job itself it's just a lot to it and you really have to know what you're doing because removing any type of engine parts you know it's, it can get a little tedious but it wasn't that bad on this particular truck um now i'm gonna clean everything up I'm gonna go ahead and remove the camshaft and I'll be right back once I get that out. So we I'm dropping, dropping <laughs> everything. All right, I'll let you play your music and get the cam out yes. and we'll be back when the cam is out. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, good people, got this cam out. Let me show you the damage. So it goes in there like so. And as you can see, the third lobe that's where I got this bad lifter from 
it cut a groove into the cam. And the next ones to this one, they starting to scar real bad too, but you can see the groove, hopefully. Yeah. See, this is smooth across my finger catch. Hopefully you can see that. So it's pretty bad. Um, and it has little bad spots all over it. Uh, yeah. So that's why it's important to inspect this stuff through and through when you're taking stuff down, um, changing any lifters. Now, um, how to prevent this, you may ask. The only thing I can say is to stay away from these quick lube places that may use any old oil. You want to make sure you're using full synthetic, good quality oil and the oil that's recommended for this truck. I just took a look at the oil cap. It says it takes 5W20 right there. So good people, make sure you use quality oil and the correct type of oil to prevent engine damage. Make sure you're doing the correct oil intervals, changing your oil on time. Um, normally people change their oil with synthetic. You can go up to like 6,000 miles. It just, you know, just make sure you're doing the correct intervals. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Um, I will give you a startup at the end of this video. So, you know, make sure you stay tuned. Stay on track. Yeah. Quick question. How many hours does this take? Because I feel um, like... It's let me show them, show them inside the bay. So, pretty much this engine had to be stripped down to the almost the bare block. The only thing that's left in there is the crankshaft, um, the pistons, and the connecting rods. I've taken the, oil, taken the oil pan off, the oil pump. I'm changing the oil pump. I'm going back with a milling oil pump and a new pickup tube. Um, all good, all new gaskets. I'm gonna clean up everything. So, if I stay constant on it, I'll say maybe a day, a good day. But I've broken this down to parts because, like I mentioned earlier, that this is a uh, what what they're called car shield car shield claim. So we had to break it down, wait on car shield. Uh oh, you gotta. We got an audience member over there. <laughs> Which is, is a family owned she, shop, guys. So our kids on. are with us. It's late. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this cam back in. Um, I think that wraps it up for this section of it. I'll see you guys when I got this thing running. All right. He's going to get to a good stopping point so we can go home. It is late, but we'll see you in the next clip. Real quick, I almost forgot to show you guys the new lifters. These new lifters, they come in a set of four. They come just like this, as you see. It comes with the you know, lifter tray, and my light is going dead. Um, come with a lifter tray um, and four lifters. So doing this job, you need a set of four lifters, two on each side. Equaling, equaling up to 16, if my math serves me correctly. Um, like I mentioned before, I also have a new pickup tube um, and milling oil pump. Now, these oil pump bolts are tightened to 21 foot-pounds. And if you was wondering about the timing on this, there's a dot on this um, camshaft sprocket and the two lines going between, I mean this dot going between these two lines, then I already put it back together, but there's another dot on the bottom, and I lost my light. There's another dot on the bottom, that one dot lines up with that one indention on the crankshaft pulley. I see if I can find a picture to show you guys what I'm talking about, just in case you guys was wondering how to time it. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Oh, that's all she wrote. Just did my last few checks. I'm gonna let it down now and I'm gonna let you guys hear it run. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> Joe, dude.
All right, let's hear it start. That's how she's supposed to sign. Everything's back in its place? Yep. Nope. All the bolts that came off went back every, on. Every last single one of them. And maybe an extra one. <laughs> injectors all right guys so that was sort of what is you call this a walkthrough or follow along just a show and show tell, and tell. Just, show and tell people need to know yeah Got these 5.7 hemis lifters go out that's the kind of job they'll be just doing. like the gm um i have a cadillac video and an avalanche video of me doing lifters so these 5.7 is in the same boat i do them all the time um, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Guys, Alice Cardoctor out. See you guys in the next video.